Ladies and gentlemen, uh, sometimes we hear objections against Christianity. We do have them also on YouTube, on internet. One of them claims that Jesus could not possibly be true man and true God, uh, since being a man implies necessarily being a liar. So, Jesus was a man, so Jesus was a liar, so he could not possibly be God. Well, uh, the objection comes from someone who claims that he is, he is reading, he is following the Holy Scripture, especially the New Testament. Well, here is the original uh, uh, Greek New Testament. And uh, if you are quoting the Bible, you need to do so in an honest way. Jesus was God. Jesus is God. This we find uh, stated clearly in John 1.1, 1, 1. the word was a God, was God actually, not was a God, and, uh, John, and Colossians 2.9, in him dwells all the fullness of the divine nature in a physical, corporal way, Colossians 2.9. So, what about his humanity? His humanity is that of someone who is without sin, as St. Peter writes in his first letter. And being without sin is, uh, is the point in which he is different from us, as we read in the letter to the Hebrews. He has been proven, he has been put to the test, like all of us, except for sin as he wanted to be in all, except for sin, similar to his sisters and brothers. So, there is no contradiction between the divine nature and the human nature. The divine nature can assume the human nature without losing the divinity. There is a contradiction. There would be a contradiction between divinity, which means holiness in God, and a human nature, which is a sinful one. But when you have a human nature without sin, then there is no obstacle in it being uh, united to the divine nature in Christ. So, this answer is not provided to the objection, is not provided by us. It is provided by the New Testament and uh, particularly by the letter to the Hebrews, uh, especially if the objection comes from a Hebrew uh, background, namely that Jesus is a full human being without sin, without, uh, without falsehood, without being a liar. Of course, this is an exception, and, uh, and it is exactly this exception that with this or this human nature of Jesus is, is united to the divine nature. Thank you for your attention.